some of our tech issues, but it's uh, it's all fixed now. Anyway, Manjin, there's the jaw head, like you said. And what what is the combo? I think Masha makes sense for Masha? for yeah. YG. You're looking for oh. good offlaners. Alice against the Ling. It, it worked before. Might work again. Give it just to Ibusa. us. The offlane Alice. Us. This is the offlane Alice, and it, it could work. It could work, honestly, Manjin. Oh, oh no. they go X Borg anyways. So yeah. it, it was used before against the link because you have that instant stun when you you have your bl your flicker, you go in yep. and you stun your opponents with your second skill as the Alice, and then you pop your ultimate as that. And it, it kind of acts as the Uranus as well, clearing out the wind, uh, wave, the minion wave, and they just stay yep. in lane. But I guess the choice now for YG is just to go for a standard pickup, which is going to be the X Borg. X Borg Gayabusa. Okay. Ooh. Man, the control here for Geek Fam is legit. Mm -hmm. They can. Again, it's another Ling composition. Yep. But there's a lot of varieties in the side of uh, Team YG. Yep. They can. Uh, they can. Uh, they have a diverse type of playstyle. They can go Ayabusa. They can go with the Selena pick of. They can go with the X-Borg Burst. So, I think, I think... Oh, uh, no, he's not. He's going for the core type. Rumpel oh. is this time going to be the Atlas. So, Soren, we can uh -huh. see him back in action as the offlaner or the side laner. Well, Joe Fix heads. is going to be there as the link. Meanwhile, uh, Uzumaki will be using the Tams here in the bottom side. Hiccup as the Selena. Uchiha DK as the Cupra Shine is going to use the Ayabusa and the Royal Milk as the Exborg. We are now seeing Team YG controlling this purple buff in the bottom side, trying to negate Fix again with getting all the farm and getting the objectives that he wanted. Yeah. Uh, we shall see if they can commence the steal. Let's see. But Rumpel are already working on it. Just to pulling out the that spinner. I believe it's called the yep. sh the shocker, but the sta sta uh, standard shocker, I believe. Yeah, that's what it's called. It is. It's the mother shocker. The mother shocker. I love it. Yeah, the mother shocker. Man. And the baby shocker, right? But anyways, Fix gets mm -hmm. himself a double buff. That's purple and orange. He gets while Shine MT the Hayabusa also gets himself the combo. And the richest man alive for side of YG is Uzumaki with 972, but Shine MT leading as well. So this is uh, proving to be very good for YG once again in the early stages as they get the farm that they needed. And seems like Geek Fam, let's see how they will utilize Fix as he gets the steal onto the, onto the crab. Yeah. We shall see, man. Uh, both of the teams just uh, warming it up, you know, like doing side laner things and doing mid things. As uh, Shine is now full with buffs. Wow. Okay. And uh, Fix as well. Both are level five. Yeah. Who is the better uh, funneled hero? That is the question. We will see. Now, I'm going to look up at the EX EXP, and it seems like the lead EXP lead is massive on the side. Of um, of YG. Interestingly, even if it's a good start already for for uh, Big Fam, YG have got it better. Fix wasn't able to steal, but oh, Uchiha DK was able to steal the orange buff, and he flickers wow. away into safety. It gets away. That's a, that's a that's a daytime robbery, I'd say. Yeah. For the Kufra. That's a just that's stealing lollipop from a baby, man. <laughs> Candy from Just a with baby. the bouncing ball. Just with the bouncing ball. And again, the threat of the arrow. It is like game number one. Nobody's really fighting. Yep. Both are playing safe. But the main story is that Fix is not getting the buffs that he wants. Meanwhile, that is the first blood as well from Uzumaki. Oh, there it is. Angry. Oh, the angry combo. They lost game one. Bro! They're alive! 
They oh, keep yeah. themselves alive. Uchiha DK is able to run away and instead they'll get the kill onto the join. Now Uzumaki is angry. What a punish Lord Arts. Lord Arts doesn't have the stun, the bite. Oh, he will not reach, but of course the damage Ooh. over time from the Lord of the Lava passive gets the kill. Nice the Hiccup is nice going to be taken out, but I guess that's a lot of gold and momentum that YG was able to capitalize on. Man, they're angry. They said that, hey, we should have won game number one. Yep. And it's time for us to run you down. We're going to run you wild. That is another buff being wasted. That's right. As a fix, even though he, he did not die, did not he his objectives right now, his gold is not up par against Shine. Even though Shine, he only leads by 500. That is a lot. That's a if lot. If you are a paneled hero. And man, I think they activated the no the what they call it Ooh. <laughs> in in Naruto. They activated the the sharing gun yeah. of Uzumaki. <laughs> That's right. Oh, sharing gun. I mean, now onto the yeah. middle. There is the ultimate, the real ninja, Shine MT. With the quad, sh the shadow kill gets it. Now fix. He might be in trouble. There's the fire sticks, but the tempest of blades gonna be forced out just to keep himself safe, which kind of gives YG free reign over this orange buff and that's gonna another be great one. another one indeed it is another one bro so another power spike for shine you know what i think the difference between shine and the uh shines uh, Leomord and shines uh hayabusa the hayabusa can enter the fight easier yeah because you can uh jump off clips unlike <laughs> Unlike the Leomord, every time you pop the Phantom Steed, you need to like dash in. But with the Ayabusa, with the Quad Shadow, easy access to the team fight. And now we can see that YG once again takes Ooh. a hold of this game. But just like we said, it's not over till it's over. This happened before. But with the Ayabusa, oh, now they kill off the Selena. With the help of Lord Arts, now MT. Actually, just the Shine MT just poking it out. They want to secure this purple buff. They don't want to yeah. give it to the Ling. And they're doing their the best quest, yeah. not to be caught now, Manjin. We'll see if that the will be the case. Here, the, the question here, is it going to be worth it though? The steal. Oh, there, there it go. is! Here comes Uchi at two Oh my three. goodness! Wow! Uzumaki and Uchiha working together. Wolf. Wow. This is, is Naruto all over again. They get valuable kills. And not only that, Manjin, they were able to take away the purple buff from this Ling. And that's massive. Man, the brotherly rivals, Whoa. Uzumaki and Uchiha. The best friends, man. They're, they're the best. The, the foil. You're, t you're talking yes. about the foil and the, the main the protagonist. Foil to the, yes, the foil to the protagonist. Uchiha making the place for his team, stealing objectives and initiating, plus getting stuns here and there. Man, Fix, once again, he's not dying. It's the first time that he died, but man, the, their farm, it lacks. Yeah, their yep. damage right now, it lacks. So the question here, how can they kill right now? They don't, they, they can't. Look at this. Uh, top lane in with the quad shadow in there as well. Soin might be in trouble, actually, but Uchiha DK, oh, they get the kill onto the Joyed. Now Rampo wants to go for an angle, but he cannot find it for now. Yeah. That's not going to be the best case scenario coming out from White, from, uh, um, sorry, from Geek Fam MY. There you go, yeah. Man, this scenario is now different from game number one, because right now, it is becoming a one-sided game yeah. because of the arrows and because of the reach. Again, the Kupa Selena combo, man. Oh, there you go. Shit. Two man knock up once again. That's insanity man, gonna be used. It comes to Ling, no deaths whatsoever, as they have uh -huh. dope upon a turret. So that's probably why. But that's the stun kill. of Selena. No, oh, nice uh, defensive nice ejector from the yeah. Joyed. Soren nicely done, but the turret cannot be saved at all on Man. the side of Geek Fam. That could have been really dangerous if ever Soren accidentally ejected the Kufra. Could have been a huge setup for the Kufra. 
That's right. But, uh, yeah, probably it will go a 50-50 a fight. But yes, man, there you go. Another turtle in the hands of Team YG. Same as game number one. The only solution right now is to don't get killed. It's, yeah. Right? Just, just don't let uh, Geek Fam get the pickups that they wanted. Like game number one. Yeah. And just put in all of the pressure and be disciplined enough to don't That's go right. for aggressive takes. Don't go for aggressive aggressive dives. The, the difference Ooh. is that they have so much of a lead now. Lord Arts almost taken out. Fortunately gets away. Now Soren looking for an ejector. Nice flicker away. The Valir is going to be taken out. Very nice bait coming out from Royal Milk in there. Not going to be ejected by Rumpel. Oh, sorry. By uh, Soren. Yep. Dude. I think we we predicted it. Oh, we're gonna... I think we're going all the way. I think so, too. Kind of feels that <laughs> way, man, Gene. Nine minutes in. It's 10k gold lead, man. It really feels like uh, another stomp of a game. In game number two, Team YG already Ooh. fixed their problem. Fatal Lakes onto just one. It. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that's not good. Okay, they whiff the ultimate on the on the Kufra, but it's okay. They've taken out one. Also, the Viking is down for the count. Immortality has been popped. The jump in for Fall Starboard hitting nothing but germs. And now the Quad uh -huh. Shadow, the ultimate. I mean, Shadow Kill is going to be used to great effect. Last Insanity as well. They've wasted all of their ultimates. This is bad for YG. Can it be punished though? No, because the turret has been taken out. In comes the Hayabusa once again. Ooh. Ling has been taken out. Nice bouncing ball. From the Kupra to stop that Ling. And now onto the bottom, they will surround Lord Arts. Lord Arts is surrounded. Caught an Inferno, oh but the stuns are going to be there. Uzumaki, can he still do the same lad? No, he can't. He's taken out finally. Is this an overextension though? I think they overextended there. Uzumaki could have been safe there. And man, still Team YG, they got the tower, but they paid for a hero. And I think those are the overextensions that they don't want to commit. Like, they want to negate all of that. They, man, another kill for uh, Team Geek Fam, but it's, it's now looking like Team YG getting every uh, opportunity to yeah. win the team fight. Uchiha DK just going for... Man, I don't know, two or three Tyrant's Rage every time. Even without a wall, he can he can actually do it. <laughs> right? Yeah. They, they even, just, by uh, just, yeah. even by just using the tower as a wall. Yeah. That's how good <laughs> yeah, of a Kupra right. player Uchiha yeah. DK is. Because that's counted. You can really, you know, uh, pin your opponents through the wall. Uchiha DK really showing up this time. Big time players make the big time plays. That's what they're talking about. And if, he, if he's really a big time player, player now for Geek Fam, he needs to show up more. He's now Again. down 0 2 and 1. Yeah. Not the stat line that you want for a Ling. Come in 12 minutes. Oh man, that is this a free Lord though for Shine MT and Hiccup. Team it is. Geek Fam, they it just is. sacrificed the Lord right now, Wolf. It is such a free Lord. Not even any sign of contention in there. The question is, can Geek Fam defend this? Yep. But they don't have spam. I mean, <laughs> it's not the food, but they don't have the wave clear that they wanted. It's all on the Valir. Yep. And one thing to take note with the Valir, Wolf, is that you need the skills for the team fight. You need the searing turrets. That's you need right. the bursting fireballs to uh, get the stun because that's your lineup. You want to set up for the Valir and right now the Lord it is now going for the base. Team YG, they want to force game three. That is for the Fatal Licks on 2-2. Two, two. Hiccup falling low, he will figure out. But meanwhile, the Atlas will now die as the Shadow Kill will go over to Joehead. Joehead locking the Hayabusa and throwing him into Ooh. the base onto the fountain. But man... Again, Uchiha going for the shutting gun. Uchiha DK oh, man. with his leather belt, but he still has immortality. Look at the base. He it. Look he at the base. He will finish it, Wolf. He will finish it. There you go. Team YG forcing oh. game number three. And game three we go.